Now, you're probably asking yourself, why am I looking up a YouTube video for a game that's, what, three years old? What's wrong with me? But, I mean, rest assured, if you're not making a detailed tutorial with practically no audience, then you're probably cooler than me, so stick, stick with it, it's fine. Um, so, the, anyway, this is the um, Sleepy Creek challenge in which you have to beat the developer time of, I think it's 44.816. Um, pretty difficult challenge. Oh, don't worry, I'll slow this down on the second pass and try and give you some pointers. But, yeah, it's pretty difficult. I mean, the, the main thing is it's got several what I call variables, so the key points that you have to hit to keep your time low enough to beat the challenge time. I mean, you can arguably miss one of them, but any more than that, and there's just no way you can cross the, the line in time. So what I do is I, I slow it down here. Um, this this first bit, you, you actually don't really need to do much apart from just level the bike out. It naturally kicks you up and pushes you forward. Try and get as much tyre time on this ground as possible, and here is basically the first key variable. So the swinging pipe, make sure you land flat on the bit before and just accelerate off, don't jump. When you land here, push completely forward and you want to land into the second variable, which is the dip. This means that you can launch yourself into the next section um, and get tyre time on that to push yourself out. Tap the back wheel if you need to, just to get that extra bit. And then you go bush diving. So this, you basically let off the gas. So you drop off short on that. Now this one is um, a gap transfer, which you can actually go completely over the entire section, but for safety and for consistency, I tend to miss that one out entirely, but I know that that is a way to knock maybe a second and a half off your time. So if you are struggling, maybe just get good at that bit. Um, the next bit coming up is keeping tyre contact on here. So you really want to drop off the accelerator and then get as much contact with that as possible because the aim here is to drop directly into this section. So you have more tyre time on this to get the acceleration to clear it and not have to bump over it. This is an important bit as well, which is the short stump. So you want to land short on that, but not too short that you fall into it. So you have time to cross completely and drop into this, getting as much, again, tyre time as possible to launch yourself and try and clear this entire section. I actually tapped it on here and managed to recover it. And then the last bit is just duck the saw. You'd be so upset if you had butted that at this point, but you've done it, you've done it. <laughs> 44.816 beaten and uh, on to the next challenge.